Coordinate grid, plot points in, in quadrant one. What is it? Intersection of two lines, one horizontal and one vertical. Why? Helps you conduct a search party if someone is missing by separating into equal sections. Interesting fact, wolves have two layers of fur, an undercoat and a top coat, which allow them to, to survive in temperatures as low as negative 40 degrees Celsius or negative 40 degrees Fahrenheit. And that temperature is the only time when both are the same. So let's go ahead and get started on how to do it. Step one, use the X part of the coordinate. Step two, use the Y part of the coordinate. And step three, plot and label. Now you may be wondering why the X goes first because it is the horizontal one. And you can kind of remember because when you walk, you walk horizontally. Or if that doesn't help, you can remember X is, is before Y in the alphabet. So let's go ahead and take a look at these five examples. So let's go ahead and make them a little bit more interesting by adding some color to it. So you can see the first number is, is the X, and that's the one we are going to move horizontally. And the second number is orange or, or yellow, and we are going to go ahead and move uh, vertically or up. So let's take a look at the first example. We're going to move four spaces to the right for the X, and then we're going to move three spaces up for the Y, now we put plot and label, and we're done with that example. Now let's take a look at example two. Once again, we're gonna move zero spaces to the, uh, to the X part, because that's the first number, and now we're gonna go ahead and move five spaces up, because that is the Y part of the number. Now we're gonna go plot and label, and now we're gonna take a look, and we're done with that example, now we're gonna take a look at example number three. So we're gonna go ahead and move five spaces to the right. And since the zero is, the, is, for, is for the Y, we're not gonna go anywhere. So we're gonna plot and label, and, the, and there we have it for example three. So go ahead, and now we're gonna take a look at example four. It says a zero, so there's nowhere to go. And once again, the next number is a zero as well, so there's nowhere to go. And then now we're gonna go ahead and plot and label. And we're done with that example. Now that let's take a look at the last example. This time we have a three in the for the X, so therefore we're going to move three spaces to the right. And then now we have a one for the Y, so we're going to go ahead and move one space up. Now we plot, we label, and we're done with that example. Okay, so now it is your turn. So go ahead and pause the video so you can take the, your time on answering these questions and make sure to plot and label them in the right spot. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you the answers in three, two, and one. Here you have it. If you got them correct, well done. If you didn't, there's always tomorrow.